Hello. Hi, Miss Patty. I feel like we're going back and forth with lives today. Hi, Jason. How are you guys doing? Hope you are doing well. Hi, Marcy. Eating dinner. Jason, what's for dinner tonight? Inspire me because our kitchen actually smells pretty good. We're having um, chicken and rice tonight and it smells really good. It's in the crock pot. So what are you having this evening? Just giving it a few minutes for people to come on in and say hello. Do I sound okay? And um, yeah, make us jealous, Jason, 100%. <laughs> Oh, you ordered taco salad. Okay. Taco. Well, it's not Taco Tuesday. I'm, I'm off a day. Yum. 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 Sounds good. Looks good. Perfect. I'm just going to give it another minute or so. Um, Jason, would you mind sharing to the group? I would appreciate it. Okay, it looks like we, hi Kathy, it looks like we are at the top of the hour. So let us get started, um, officially get started. If you're new here, welcome, welcome to Crafty Wednesdays and Oliver is being very vocal right now. Um, let me introduce myself if you are new to he new here. My name is Tammy Savello, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area, and I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for over seven years now. I blog over at cardsbytlc.com, and like I said, you have caught us, caught me on our crafty weekly Wednesdays. I know I want Mexican food now too, and thank you for sharing, Jason. I appreciate that. If you guys do have crafting friends, feel free to share with any crafting friends you would like to share these projects with today. Um, if you are catching me live, you will see that little red live button in the top left-hand corner of your screen. If you are not catching me, if you don't see that little red live button, that just simply means that you've caught the replay either here or YouTube or even even over on my blog and for some reason I am not seeing comments okay good I am seeing comments okay I was just making sure welcome if you are new here um today is Wednesday March 2nd can you guys believe it's already March already crazy so before we get started on today's project, um, I have a little sharing to share with you. Last week during my um, weekly live, I shared my why and talked a lot about my mom. And as I mentioned last week to tune in to this past Sunday, that I was sharing a project um, inspired by her. And it was during our love, um, our team love to stamp blog hop. So in case you missed that blog, I thought I would share the project that I made for that. My mom absolutely loves to quilt and she was an amazing quilter. And I have a special project here I want to share with you in addition to what I created. So I inspired, she was inspiring me to make a quilted top type card and so I have all of the details on my blog from Sunday um, I believe it was the 27th and all of the sizes and dimensions and um, layout um, is what I used and what I used for the top part of it I used the um, Parish flour or Parisian flourish um, embossing folder and I thought that that gave it that extra special touch and made it look like a quilt. Thank you Kathy. Thank you guys. And then I also made one using um, the um, oh my gosh why am I drawing a blank? Can one of my little fellow demonstrators help me out with the paper of this? I know Miss Patty will probably spit it out immediately. 
but I made this in purple as well. Isn't the purple pretty? I love that. So anyhow, flowering fields. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs> Um, so anyhow, she was also a quilter and I keep these, um, pot holders. She loved doing craft fairs with me and making pot holders. And I explained that in my story. And these are two of my favorites that she made. And I keep, and I keep these in my craft room so they don't get damaged or ruined, but she was an amazing quilter. And this was my favorite. And then, of course, being a Bay Area, Bay Area sports fan, our Golden State Warriors, obviously. Um, I love that as well. <clears throat> Sorry. Try not to get emotional. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> I thought that I would share those... Um, that story with you. And, and like I said, I keep it near and dear to my heart in my craft room so they don't get damaged. And I, I have shared some of um, my pot holders with some of my dear friends here on the group to share um, her love. She was amazing. Okay, so we now can go ahead and truly officially get started. But what I really wanted to talk about is um, the quickly, um, the promotion that started in my online store last week, or I'm sorry, started yesterday. It's called Savings Are in Bloom and it is 20% off of our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I love my, our stamp and cut emboss machine. I don't have the mini, um, yet, but I'm obviously going to be purchasing the mini with this amazing 20% off. Um, special. It is um, $48 marked or sorry marked down to $48 um, from $60 here in the United States. So this is U.S. pricing but that is an amazing deal and also in conjunction with the embossing folder there are 13 I'm sorry embossing machine there are 13 bundles that are that coordinate and fit through the um, mini embossing folder or excuse me embossing machine i keep saying embossing folder but um what do you guys think i'm going to be using on today's project i'll give you guys a a little quick guessy poo am i going to be using art gallery beauty of friendship celebrate flowers garden wishes hydrangea pansy quiet meadow seascape sweet as a peach welcoming window what's cooking or wildcats any ideas jennifer says peaches jason does already know marcy already knows that's why they're putting the few others that are in here that do not know what is your guys's guess Give it another minute or so because I know that there's a delay. Jennifer, you are correct. I am using the Sweet as a Peach bundle today. And that can actually be found in the... Um, annual catalog on page 61. Normally it is 10% off and with this during the month of March it is 20% off so you get that additional 10% off and if you are a demonstrator you get your additional discount on top of that so I'm pretty excited to be able to use my discount on top of that. Um, I would definitely Definitely take advantage of if you plan on getting any of those bundles, any of these bundles here, um, take advantage of them as quickly as you possibly can because they will go fast. And when that retiring list goes live on the 23rd, I really have a feeling that these bundles are probably going to be on them. I'm not 100% sure. We will definitely know on March 23rd but I would definitely run, not walk, to my online store. And that is at shop.cartsbytlc.com. And take advantage of the 20% discount um, 
because typically they are 10%. So like I said, we are going to be using the sweet as a peach bundle today. So are you guys ready to see what we're creating? Here we go. Just a fun little um, different fold. It's I wouldn't really call it a fun fold. I mean, I guess you could, but it's definitely just a little different. I love this layout. I have not done this layout in a long time and thought it would be fun to bring that back. And it's quick and easy and it's a great way to showcase the designer paper. Designer paper. Oh, let me tell you, the designer paper that coordinates with this bundle is absolutely luscious. Yes, I said luscious. I love, you know me, I'm a, I'm a blue girl, so blue and that Calypso coral and the Granny Apple Green. I love this paper. In fact, I'm going to be purchasing one more before um, it possibly retires. Again, we won't know quite yet if that is on the retired list, but I'm kind of hoping it's not. But I mean, let's be real. It probably is. So to bring in today's project, I have these pieces. So our card base, and now remember, again, as always, the um, sizes and dimensions will be on my blog tomorrow. So don't feel, don't feel bad if you miss any of these dimensions. They will be up and running. But this is a standard four and a quarter by 11 card base, scored at five and a half as normal. But the only difference is, is that we removed, two, we cut it at two and three quarters to remove this front panel piece. So this front panel piece, as well as the inside piece is two and three quarters. And this inside piece is balmy blue. I decided to do balmy blue to coordinate with the flowers in the paper. And you will have a inside panel piece that is four by five and a quarter and that just goes on the inside there and then your front panel piece is i believe two what did i cut this one at this one is two and a half by four so that matches up nicely and then you have two basic white pieces at um two and a half by four so this piece and this piece is the same this piece and this piece is the same. So let us start with maybe stamping our peaches. Oh, you haven't done this full Jennifer in some time either. I know it, it I need to uh, definitely do this more often. I love the fold, 100%. So let's go ahead and bring, go ahead and bring in a scrap piece. And of course, because we are working with photopolymer, my uh, paper piecing mat, and because these are distinctive stamps, as you can see, um, I do kind of have a two tone and I'll show you what I did to do that. So the base in the peach is going to be in pale papaya. And then I'm going to come in with my dauber and daub in the Calypso coral to give it that two tone color. I really liked these. I've seen um, different colors and peaches and stuff, but I really liked the color combo of the pale papaya and the calypso coral. Okay, I almost stamped that down. So before we stamp that down, we're gonna come in with the calypso coral and just dab in spots that extra two-tone. Hi Robin, how are you? Go make it Marcy, craft along with me. There we go and see that two-tone of the peach. It just, I thought it makes a really pretty coloring on those peaches. And then of course I've already cut out um the peaches to begin with so what i used from the dies is of course the peaches 
and then just line that up and let's line it up correctly. There we go. Okay, Tammy. There we go, got it. <laughs> I rotated a little too far and then of course I would use some tape just to hold that down, run it through the die cutting machine and with the magic of film, the peaches are cut out. Now what I also did is I went ahead and took the leaves and I used pear pizzazz cardstock and I cut out the three leaves that I'm going to put on my peaches. And since I have that here, I'm going to go ahead and just do that now before I do any additional stamping. Oh, nice. I'm glad I taught you something, Jennifer. She said that she's finally realizing what to use the sponge daubers for. I, I, yeah, I've hoarded them for years. I have one for every color and I can't quite reach it. I'm attached to my phone. One, one day I will get a new phone so I don't have to have the attaching mic to it. Um, but let's go ahead and bring in our glue dots and I'm just going to glue down um, those leaves to the top. And of course I'm going to bring in my trusty take your pick tool. And then I'm just going to kind of fold that over and then take the other end of my take your pick tool and attach the leaves to that. And then glue dots. And then get my leaf, my last leaf on my peach. So I absolutely love peaches in the summertime. There are some melons that I'm actually allergic to, so I can't have um, melons like watermelon, which I am made me sad, makes me completely sad. I uh, got a, a allergy as an adult to melons, but I absolutely love peaches. What is your guys' favorite go-to fruit, summer fruit? Okay, those are done. Let's go ahead and bring in, let's go ahead and put down our designer paper first bring in my bone folder, crease my edge, and then bring in my trusty Tombow. Patty, you love watermelon and cantaloupe. I really, really wish I never um, developed an allergy as an adult. I don't know if it was through menopause or what, but melons I can no longer have. Maybe hopefully that allergy will eventually go away. Jason loves melons. Not much of a fruit person. Good strawberries, granny apples. See, I can't do a granny Smith apple. I can only do a granny Smith apple and an apple pie. To me, they're a little too bitter for my taste. I usually like the Fuji or the Gala apples. Strawberries. I know I love me a good strawberry. And then we are gonna bring in the front panel piece and glue that down. Get those done and over with. And then we will do some stamping and finishing um, piecing together. I know. It's hit or miss out here too with some good fruit. Out in Brentwood, we do have some amazing cherries and better fruit because it is a warmer climate, but we don't have many 
places that get good fruit. Now we do have a really good place um, called Larry's Produce up in Fairfield. Um, so if you're in the Bay Area, you might know Larry's Produce in, in Cordelia. They have amazing vegetables and fruits. So we try to go up there to get our fruits. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my stamping here. Let's first and foremost, before we add obviously the peaches to our um, leaves, we want to go ahead and bring in our stamp. And I stamped the leaf in Granny Apple Green. And I just kind of try not to get my head in the camera. Line that up. There we go. And as you see, there's blank spots to add your peaches. And we are going to go ahead and pop those up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I hope you guys can't hear my husband's phone upstairs. He's watching a video and he has it up really loud. So I really hope you guys can't hear that. <laughs> I love farmer's markets too. We have a local farmer's market. You can hear it. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. I don't want to scream at him to turn that down, but we're almost done. Oh, yeah. I think he stopped actually. So, okay. I think he stopped. So, hopefully, we can get this done quickly and you won't have to hear his phone. I don't know why he has it up so loud. He's not deaf. I'm the deaf one. Okay. Perfect. And now we are going to come in. I need birthday cards, so I am definitely going to do my happy birthday. What I love about this um, stamp set, you guys, anybody else a font girl or a person? I am a font person. These fonts I am absolutely obsessed with. They're my favorite font out of the catalog. And I really hope that if they do new stamp sets that they bring that particular font in because I love it. Okay, and I think I'm gonna squeeze that in. Yes, made it just the right amount of space. So since I have my blue out, we're gonna go ahead and do the inside. And I have these cute little flowers that are part of the stamp sets. These flowers right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do those in the corners and then the let's celebrate you um, sentiment on the inside. <laughs> yeah, we don't want it saying low battery. <laughs> You just bought this bundle, Letty? Well, perfect timing for me to showcase this, correct? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and mount this to its mat. <laughs> go. Oh, before I stamp the, before, I'm going to show you a trick on how, I, how to line that up just right so it lines up directly with this. So let's go ahead and do the front panel first. Lie this down.
and I just realized there's a little bit of ink right there on the top, but that's okay. We're just gonna let it go. Okay, now what I do here is you're only obviously going to want to put adhesive on the far left, so it lines up just like that. So I am going to um, add adhesive to that and then I'll line it up underneath and then add my adhesive to the back. So let's go ahead and um, add our adhesive so we know we, where we wanna line that up on the front. And then center that really good. Oh, good. I made sure I didn't get that adhesive there. You don't want that to glue down to your back of your panel. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add adhesive to the back. Then line this up just like that. So it matches up perfectly. And then I'm gonna kind of slide that down because I don't want, I want that down just a little bit centered in the center there and then lay that flat. See how I'm just kind of slowly sliding that back down? Because I think I did the front panel just a little bit too. There we go. And then I use liquid glue just so there we go. And that lines it up to where it covers up. I just did a little bit too far. If you notice, you guys, you don't want that to go past there. Um, I kind of goofed on that. That should have been lined up down just a little bit. So you definitely, let me see if I can. No, I don't want to keep ripping that. That's okay. It'll still work. That works perfectly fine. Um, but that lines it up just like that. And then we are going to finish it off, give you guys some choices here. Yes, it should be a little bit more to the left. I'm sorry, Jason, I didn't see that. <laughs> Heat tool to reheat, okay. I will definitely fix that up. What do you guys want to finish it off with? Do you want to use the Genial gems or the brush butterflies or just the rhinestones to finish it off. I used the Genial gems in the original, but um, yeah, I can definitely peel and redo. Marcy votes for butterflies. What rhinestone do you guys want to finish it off with? Butterfly, okay, looks like butterflies are definitely the winner. So we will go ahead and add some butterflies. Maybe butterfly right there. And then maybe a butterfly over here. There we go. Project is done. Oh, we can't forget the envelope. Let's go ahead and bring that in. Thank you, Rosalie. Yeah, everybody likes the butterflies. You can certainly case this card, Jason. I would be honored if you cased this card. So I um, took some coordinating. I didn't quite um, have enough of the exact designer paper to finish off my envelope. So what I do have is one that has the peaches on there. So let's go ahead and finish up with an envelope. I'm gonna try to get better at doing envelopes. Thank you, Kathy, I appreciate that. Line that up just right and Let's get some scissors out and trim. I keep man it. I keep losing my large scissors. I need to just get a bunch of um, 
bigger scissors so I'm not using up so I'm not like <laughs> taking forever to cut around for my envelope there we go and there is our project. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> I know it 100% would be amazing if they brought back that ribbon scissors. Oh, excuse me. Well, I'm so glad you guys stopped by again. Um, all the uh, details and the list of supplies um, used in today's um, project will be on my blog tomorrow, March 3rd. So please be sure to check out that blog tomorrow. And if you have not yet subscribed to my blog, please do so. I'm at cardsbytlc.com. And also I'm at Cards by TLC on YouTube as well. I would love for you to follow me over on YouTube. I'm working on building my subscribers. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love the opportunity to earn your business. So um, if you like today's project and would like to purchase today's um, bundle, um, again, it is 20% off. And the link for that is shop.cardsbytlc.com. And that takes you directly to my online store. As always, you guys, I really appreciate you joining me each and every week and I hope you guys come back next week for another crafty Wednesday thank you Kathy thank you Robin thank you guys I really appreciate you guys joining me each and every week I love the support and the love um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and the rest of your week bye guys have a great day <laughs>